Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day. From the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov slash apod. And today's picture for December the 30th of 2019, well it is titled Messier 20 and 21. So what do we see here? Well, these are two of the objects from Charles Messier's catalog from hundreds of years ago that looked at objects that did not look like comets. And comets were an important thing to study at the time, and you'd wanted to know whether an object was already known not to be a comet. So anything that looked a little bit fuzzy through a small telescope would have been cataloged. And he had a catalog of about 100 or so objects that were well known and plotted and were known not to be comets. Now, there were various different things, including galaxies, uh, in terms of the Andromeda galaxy, but as well as nebulae and star clusters. And those are two of the ones that we see here. Messier 20, down towards the lower right, is known as the Trifid Nebula. And it actually has a couple of different colorations there. And you can see how it's kind of cut across by dark dust lace, cutting it into three pieces, giving it its name as the Trifid Nebula. Now, the reddish portion would be a hydrogen emission region, and that is where hydrogen atoms are being excited by ultraviolet radiation from very hot stars which have just formed here. And this is a relatively young star-forming region, only a couple of hundred thousand years old. So very, very young stars uh, present here. Those stars that form and the mass of stars do not live a very long time. But when they do, while they do, they are incredibly bright, incredibly hot, and give off tremendous amounts of ultraviolet radiation, which is very good at exciting, exciting the atoms around it. And those atoms are primarily, like everything else in the universe, hydrogen atoms. So when they glow, they give off a distinct red glow. The dark dust lanes are denser areas. Uh, likely sites of current star formation. So even though we say it's a couple hundred thousand years old, star formation is still ongoing within this region. Now, slightly above that, we see a bluish coloration, which is what we know as a reflection nebula. A reflection nebula is caused also by dust rain, but not quite as dense as in the dark nebula regions uh, further down within the Trifid, but less dense regions of dust and those regions scatter the blue light. So the blue light from those hot stars gets scattered and gives it a distinct blue color to the uh, upper portion of this nebula. So it's a little bit different than the reason for the formation of an emission nebula, which is actually emission uh, of the light by the atoms. This is scattering of light off of dust grains. And again, it looks blue because the shorter wavelengths are more effectively scattered. Uh, much as our sky is blue, because at molecules in the atmosphere will scatter the blue light better than other colors. Now, the other Messier object in this image is Messier 21, which is the star cluster to the upper left. And that is a somewhat older star cluster, only about 8 million years old, so still very young uh, in terms of age of stars but much older than the stars that are forming within the Trifid Nebula that have formed much more recently. This is an example of an open star cluster, meaning that there's not enough mass there to bind the stars together. and Gravitationally, they will not remain together over time and will eventually spread out as time goes on. So here in this image, we get to see two of Charles Messier's objects. Uh, the Trifid Nebula down towards the lower right, and an open star cluster towards the upper left. So that was our picture of the day for December the 30th of 2019. It was titled Messier 20 and 21. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be M31's Little Sister. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.